Oh, good afternoon, Rob, um, and to uh, Mrs. Rob. Um, hopefully you both get down to watch this video and you can see for yourself what the car's like. I've just had it brought up here. We haven't got enough time at the moment to revalid and detail the car. That will take place over the next few days. Um, but I just thought I'd go round it for you as if you were me stood here looking round the car. So we just start on the front corner of the car. And I'm going to point stuff out to you that you would need to know if you were stood here. So I think we've already agreed we'll, we'll more than likely be changing these tyres. I mean, they're not dead. Um, so they're, they're, they're nice tyres as well. They're, they're low, but they're not dead yet. But there's either we replace them now or maybe just give you a contribution towards new tyres in the future. But that's... Um, you know that's kind of up to you i mean there's there's certainly another five thousand miles plus left in those tires um but they're not new by any means um the alloys lovely gloss black no curb damage even the wheel nuts are nice and rust free they sometimes do oxidize and the discs and pads look in great shape coming around the front of the car the odd little stone chip here and there and when i mean stone chip, i mean little things like this i think you pointed one out on your volvo uh, by any means it is not peppered it's not been cleaned as i say so there is a little bit of pollen on the car from the overhanging trees we have um and again we would go around touch anything up with a we've got a very fine little pin tool that we use to touch up any stone chips but all the glossy black there's no scratches on anything around the front no damaging at all uh, this wheel again you can probably see absolutely gleaming factory fresh are the wheels absolutely lovely uh, i thought that was a little mark but it's just a little spot of tar again the car will get a full what we call tar and glue remover so it takes off any um, darkness like that little spot of tar on the wing there uh, tree sap, brake dust, that kind of stuff. It will take all that out and then we'll polish the car as well. Uh, no horrible chips or anything I can see on the windscreen. These high traffic areas, it's quite a big car. Um, they would, you know, sometimes we'd see scuffs on those, but they're absolutely mint. No dents on the swage lines. Again, when people open up the doors, you're often going to hit something, they're big doors, but that's all good. Just more tar that needs to be cleaned off the car. That will all come off with a chemical. It will like just, it will turn purple and the solvent will come out and it will jet wash off. Um, this is the, we've touched them up. Don't know if you can see that there, but there are two little chips on each door edge, but we've put some white paint over the top of those. So that should stop that from going any further. Like I say, no dents, no scratches, no scuffs as such. All very much consummate to the age of the car. There was a little mark just here with around the parking sensor. That's come out with a tiny bit of T-cut. Like I said, the whole car will be getting some love. Um, so it'll be nice and shiny when you pick it up. Very fine little tar spots, just white cars you've probably got some if you look very closely on your car particularly down the passenger side of the car where all the rubbish forms and the side of the road you'll notice you've probably got quite a bit on yours being white as well um but no lovely no nothing horrible all four wheels are in immaculate condition tires coming towards the end of their life but not dead recently been serviced we look inside the car obviously it will get another re-clean but there's no nasty tears in the fabric or the leather just it's a natural leather that uh, jeep use so you just get just like your shoes you do get crease marks on the again high traffic areas plastics all in good shape just again need a clean We only give the guys a limited time to get the cars ready for photos and then obviously they get details. Nice enough in the back. Again, just more cleaning. We'll whiz round to the front again. Because you 
had a concern, I believe, over this area of the car. But I've given that a little clean with some foam cleaner and a stiff brush. And that, apart from maybe a little imperfection just here, that is all nice. And there's a little bit where, obviously, the belt rubs against the transmission tunnel. There is the seat's actually quite far back. If we put that in its natural position, this has to just be fair wear and tear where the seat belt rubs against the center console there. Little bit of a mark in the cup holder. You can't really see that. It makes, looks a bit more obvious in the video, but not so bad inside. But yeah, half a day's detailing, which is what we do here. The car's obviously just had routine maintenance washes. It's never been detailed, I imagine, in its life. But uh, if I just, without boring you too much, the guys are working on a couple of handovers in here. Got this X6, that's an old car actually, but looking really good. They're just going right through that 911. And even the trade cars, this is a little trade car going to auction, this Mini. The guys are spending the time on that. And there we go, that's a little tour. One of our sites, we've got a big storage unit down the road where we keep the majority of the cars. But there's the Jeep. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much.